also the notion that in 2022 you have to remind people I that know. women can do it all. Yeah. And that's the message he's trying to send. Right. Good thing my mom told me way back when I was a kid. You want me, if I have to drive the message right. home, I'm gonna. I feel like your big sister probably <laughs> reinforced it. Little yeah. sister, which was Little worse, <laughs> which is worse. <laughs> CBS News has a whole lot more to offer. Vladimir Putin remains defiant in Ukraine despite facing severe economic sanctions from the United States and other countries. Ahead, a Ukrainian professor at Columbia Business School joins the stream to talk about how these actions are being felt in Moscow. She'll also give us her take on what the U.S. and its allies should be doing to end the war. Plus, stream CBS News at 1 p.m. Eastern to check out today's White House press briefing. Press Secretary Jen Psaki is set to take reporters' questions. And it is equal pay day here in the United States. The date marks how far into the year women must work to make the same amount of money that men did last year. Well, tonight, President Biden and Vice President Harris will deliver remarks on pay equity. Uh, this week on 60 Minutes, we'll bring you a conversation with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. He discussed how the massive bipartisan infrastructure law passed last year could be a much needed lifeline for the country's crumbling roads and bridges. Also, Nora O'Donnell spoke with the creative minds behind Ted Lasso about the show's wild success. Stream this week's episode of 60 Minutes right here at 8 p.m. Eastern. And tomorrow on CBS News, we'll have live coverage of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's virtual address to Congress, including reports from the White House, Capitol Hill, and the Pentagon. It all starts at 9 a.m. Eastern. So if you are heading out the door, take us with you. You can stream us for free anytime, anywhere at cbsnews.com or by using the CBS News app. An original CBS Reports documentary. Some Republicans are now accusing companies like